Hello everyone, I'm going to do a video here. We're going to unravel the uh, RN Raw feminist issue that's been going on around YouTube. And uh, so I want to start out by uh, just going over that uh, Aaron, he did a speech about three years ago on a podium that was recorded where he said that you're either a feminist or a sexist. And he's gotten a lot of backlash since doing that video. He says he's gotten a lot of hate mail. Uh, so we're going to try to dig into that a little bit. And first thing I want to do is dig in about his feminism. And so we're going to do a little exercise. What we're going to do is we're going to we're going to take 30 guys, Aaron, and 29 guys just like him. We're going to take uh, long-haired, uh, bearded biker guys, uh, kind of uh, kindred spirits there, and we're going to put them in a circle. We're going to ask the 30 guys, how many of you guys identify as a feminist? Now keep in mind they just did a uh, did a survey where only 18 percent of the general population identify as feminist. Now this is everyone, uh, city folk, people in the country, people of all different walks of life, men and women. It's only 18 percent. Now if you imagine if it was men only, it's going to be a lot less uh, a lot less than 18 percent. In fact, BuzzFeed did a video. Where they went into a city with, uh, you know, type of guys that are usually in the city, the, the the hipsters and metrosexual guys, and they asked them all if they identify as a feminist, and they all said no. So as you can imagine, uh, if you ask these thirty hairy bikers, uh, which one of them, which one of you identify as a feminist, uh, only Aaron's arm is going to come up, as you can imagine. And uh, the next question that I would ask those uh, 30 bikers is uh, how many of you would benefit by identifying as a feminist? Now, keep in mind that Aaron's wife is a, a activist feminist, that he is uh, heavily involved in the atheist community, which is very feminist friendly. He stated that he has many, many friends that identify as feminist, which is really not the normal I mean I consider myself a normal guy on these regards and I have absolutely no clue of the friends and family I have who identifies as a feminist because the the subject just never comes up so this is where we get kind of we get kind of side eye about this because the one guy who identifies as a feminist is the one guy who would benefit from identifying as a feminist so I don't know it may be a coincidence but uh, it also may be a bit of a political experience there I mean if Aaron Ross said feminism is bullshit to his wife his friends and the atheist community there, there might be some effect so there's I mean there's definitely some advantage to uh, his point of view there um, next thing I'm going to talk about is uh, he put out a Pathios blog explaining his views on feminism and uh, in those views he was stating he was he was stating his views on feminism that he was he was like the common sense mainstream type of feminist that he didn't he didn't subscribe to this rad femmes or these crazy femmes that are really really bad man haters and want all these radical things done and he was saying that he's not like that that he said he said he's a feminist, kind of like Christine Hoff Summers is a feminist. Uh, and then he complained that Christine Hoff Summers, for her feminist view, is liked, but that he's disliked for having the exact same feminist views as her. Well, let's, uh, let's unravel this a little bit. Uh, now, Christine Hoff Summers, uh, she's had many speeches and videos where she's uh, talked about men's issues. Uh, she talked about uh, how men are screwed in the feminist-friendly education system. She talked about men suicide rates and all these other struggles that, uh, that men have, these issues that men have. Uh, she addressed them. Uh, okay, let's look at what uh, Aaron Ross has said about uh, about these issues. He said, uh, he said, quote, uh, MRAs have deplorable arguments. Uh, in that uh, Pathios blog, he called anti-fems and MRAs haters on multiple 
occasions in that blog. Uh, he said MRAs are hate groups. Uh, he said the Southern Poverty Law Center said that they're hate groups. He says that over and over again uh, about MRAs. Uh, in an interview uh, that he did uh, in a European country uh, where it was brought up, he, uh, he said, quote, what the hell's wrong with you? And he was talking to talking about MRAs. So, uh, Aaron, it's, uh, it's really clear why they like Christine Hoff Summers and they don't like you. The, they all, you two obviously have very different views. And so you can't sit there and complain that you both have the same views and they like her and they don't like you. Uh, based on what you guys have said, it's simply not the case. Uh, next issue is uh, is uh, Anti-Fems and the, the people who do that and make the videos. He, uh, I believe it was in the same Pathios blog that he talks about uh, uh, Anti-Fems making videos and he said uh, he said they're hateful and he said uh, that they should find something more constructive to do and he was talking about people who uh, put up video clips uh, quoting feminists and then they put he puts up they put up their rebuttal and it's often uh, there's often a few barbs in there and uh, there's a lot of people like Baring, uh, Naked Ape, Karen Strom who do these kinds of videos who who re do rebuttals on uh, what feminists say and they put up uh, Put up careful, uh, researched uh, scientific information to re rebut these uh, claims. Does it sound familiar? It sounds familiar because Aaron Raw does the exact same thing to creationist videos. In his series, Refuting the Irrefutable Proof of God, he does the exact same thing that anti fams like Baring does. He quotes them. Then he puts up his rebuttal with a few barbs. But for some reason, it's not okay for them to do the anti-feminist videos, but it's okay for him to do the exact same videos on creationism. Rebutting creationism, okay. Rebutting feminism, not okay for some reason. Uh, the last issue I want to talk about is... Uh, his demeanor when he's uh, talking about creation I mean, he's creation issues he seems to be calm and very collected he very carefully and uh, calmly states uh, empirical facts research data uh, to uh, make his argument in case uh, for atheism but when it comes to the feminist issue all of a sudden he doesn't want to talk about it he snaps he gets angry, uh, he makes assertions, uh, totally different demeanor.